I want to start this week's Money Monday with a bit of a prologue. You see, I grew up in the 90s in a low-income neighborhood. I was a latchkey kid. My mom would wake up at 5 a.m. every morning to go to work, and I wouldn't see her again until midnight. She wanted to make sure that while she was at work that I had everything at home so I didn't have to go out while she was gone. Because I love playing video games, she made sure that I had every game that I could ever want to play. Looking back over 25 years later, I can say that the only thing that kept me off the streets was playing video games. Unbeknownst to me, playing video games formed my outlook and mindset on business and set me up for success as an adult. This might sound crazy to you, but let me explain. Here are three principles that playing video games taught me and how you can use them to win as an entrepreneur. Welcome back to Money Monday. My name is Miguel Quiles, and in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about some things that I learned back in the day through playing video games that helped me to be a better entrepreneur. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. The first thing that I learned back in the day was what I wanna call the one-up mentality, all right? And it's this idea of embracing failure. Back in the day when I used to play video games, I would play a game like Mario, for example, and I would start this new map and I'd be running and I'd think that I could jump from one brick to the next, this one platform to the next, and I would miss it. And I would just do it again and do it again. And it was okay to fail because I knew that every time I would go ahead and keep replaying this particular stage, that at some point I was going to figure it out. And so this happens throughout all video games that I've ever played. It's always been this concept that, darn, I couldn't beat this boss, but I'll, I'm gonna play the stage again because eventually I'm gonna beat them. And this is something that I learned early on as an entrepreneur that you have to be okay with failing. You have to be all right with this idea that, you know what, I'm gonna try out this crazy idea and hopefully it works. And if it doesn't work, it's okay. It's not a big deal. We'll try something else. We'll look at it, whatever it is that we did, how we did it, we'll figure out why it failed, and then try to figure out a way to overcome that. So this one-up mentality, the idea behind it is you have multiple lives, right? Didn't matter if I went and tried something in a game and I lost and I failed. It was cool because I had a one-up. Just get to start over again and do it again. So adopt this mindset with your entrepreneurship, with your business. Adopt this mindset that you, it's okay to try something out and see what it does and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, if it's a complete and utter failure, that is okay. You can go ahead, you have a one up, you have an extra life, do it over again, adjust, make it better. That is one of the biggest things that I could say that has helped me through playing video games is this idea of the one up mentality and embracing failure. The second idea is recognizing patterns and kind of adjusting from that. So let me give you an example. Long time ago, I used to play on Super Nintendo. I used to play this game called Street Fighter, and I played online. It was a very early online gaming platform called X-Band, which used to work on a 56K dial-up modem. It was horrible for playing video games. But I used to play, and I thought it was a really good player. In my local arcades, I used to beat people left and right, and I thought to myself, if I play on this nationwide network, I'm probably one of the best players in the nation. Turns out that was not the case. Played a guy, um, his name was Dream Theater. And I remember he beat me just from pillar to post. I couldn't even touch the guy in this video game. And I couldn't figure out how this could be that I was so good at this video game, but yet I couldn't defeat this player. So here's what I did. I actually started to record our matches on VHS. That's how long ago this was. But I used to record our matches on VHS and I would play and I would say, okay, I'm gonna play really aggressively and I wanna see what he does. And so there was a pattern that was starting to show itself as we would continue to play one another. I noticed when I was really aggressive, in turn, he would do a certain thing. Then I said, okay, for this round, I'm just gonna run away from him. Let's see what he does. So I played keep away, see what he did, and he still beat me. Then I tried to mix it up. I was like, we'll play a little bit of keep away, a little bit aggressive, and again, he would beat me. But what I started to realize was there was a pattern to how he was playing. And I figured this out by re-watching these VHS tapes. I would see how he would play. I saw how he reacted to when I was aggressive. I saw how he would react when I was trying to stay away from him. And I quickly started to kind of formulate this strategy that 
would hopefully be able to take him down. So fast forward a couple of months, we get matched up again and I play him and I beat him. And I beat him using the exact same type of techniques that he was using to beat me. And it was just like a great feeling because he was one of the top ranked Street Fighter players in the world. And I was able to beat him strictly by just recognizing his pattern. So how does this apply to business? Well, it's actually quite simple. In business, there are patterns as well. There are patterns that you can see by watching other entrepreneurs the way that other people do business. And there's ways that even for yourself, you might notice that you're trying to do something and every time that you try to do this, maybe it's an email blast that you've been doing over and over for months that hasn't been yielding a result. There's a pattern to everything. You have to look at every marketing effort, every sales activity, every everything that you do and you need to start to recognize the patterns that are involved. And if you recognize them, and if you kind of Monday morning quarterback these different situations, you'll start to see that there are patterns and you'll start to see where these little openings where you're winning, you could see why it is that you're winning and you could double down on that and hopefully win even bigger. The third thing that I think is super important for people that are entrepreneurs is this idea of being resourceful. Now, when I was a kid, I used to play a lot of role-playing games, and I remember playing a game called Final Fantasy, and I would go out and I'd do these great adventures in these games, but there were many times where I would get stuck, and I couldn't figure out how to beat these particular characters, where to find certain items, and it would just drive me nuts. And even as a kid, I realized that just because I can't get past it, this game was created, somebody has to have beaten this particular area of the game where I'm getting stuck, and now it's just a matter of me figuring it out. I have to figure it out for myself. How do I get past this boss? How do I advance to the next level? So what did I do? Well, I remember I used to go to the grocery store. I'd go to the magazine section because the internet was really not a thing back then. And I remember going and looking at Nintendo Power Magazine and I would flip through the pages and I would see the game and they would say, here's how you would go and defeat this particular boss or get past this particular level. These are things that I think translate very well for entrepreneurs. Something that a lot of people aren't doing is being resourceful. Oftentimes we don't know what to do. We don't know how to do an email blast or set up a mail list or how to close sales, how to negotiate, all of these different things. And we say, well, I just don't know how to do that. And they just close the book on that. And if I would have done that as a kid, I probably wouldn't have beaten any games, right? I'd play all these games, I'd get stuck and say, well, I guess it's just not meant for me to beat this game. But the reality of it is, if you go out there and if you're resourceful, you could figure out how to get ahead and you could figure out how to win. And it is no different in business. You have to go out there, utilize your resources. We live in a beautiful time right now. We live in this age of the internet where anything that you want to know, anything that you want to figure out, you can go ahead and just talk to your phone. And Siri, if you have an iPhone, is gonna tell you, hey, this is what it is. Or if you have an Android phone, or if you have a Microsoft phone, it doesn't matter. There are voice assistants out there. You ask it a question, it will give you the answer. Back in the day when I was a kid, I used to have to go to the grocery store, get a magazine, get told by the people there, hey, you can't read these magazines, you need to go, right? It was so hard back then to get information. And nowadays it's in abundance, but yet, Entrepreneurs still have these same excuses that they don't know how to do this, they can't figure this out or figure that out. Listen, this <laughs> business has been done for years. You know, we don't have to recreate the wheel, right? Everything that can be done has already been done by someone and now it's a matter of us going out there and figuring out what is the process by which they did it so that we could hopefully reverse engineer that for our own business and so this idea of being resourceful is one that I think is gonna take you a very, very long way. These are three things that I learned from playing video games as a kid, three principles that have just been ingrained in me that have helped me to be a better entrepreneur. Now, if you guys are gamers out there, or maybe you play other types of games, maybe board games or something like that, what are some principles that you guys have learned? You know, And I'll give you one bonus one. I said there were three. I'll give you a bonus one that's not a video game thing. I used to play Magic the Gathering, and I remember I was playing Magic the Gathering one time with an older kid, it's probably an adult actually, and I was playing Magic the Gathering and we were at a point in the game where I lost. I mean, I felt like I had completely lost and I said, you know what, I scoop. 
And the idea of scooping, if you ever play cards, scooping is basically you just taking all of your cards and saying, you know what, we're done, you win. I started to scoop and this older player says, wait, hold on one second. I'm gonna accept your scoop, right? Because I'm not crazy, you're giving up, so I'm gonna accept the fact that you just gave up. But I want you to see something. What card, based on this situation that we have on the table right now, what card would you need to either turn this game around or to win this game? Because like as crazy as it is, there's a card in this deck that as soon as you draw that card, it could change the trajectory of the entire game. And I remember thinking to myself, well, if I had this one card, and I forgot what the name of the card was, but uh, whatever the name of this card was, if I had this one card, I would have been able to turn this whole game around, but I haven't been able to draw it. It's been 10 or 11 turns and I'm sitting here drawing card after card and I could not find that card. And so he says, go ahead and look at the top card on your deck. And sure enough, I pull that top card and it was the one card that would have turned the game around and I scooped right beforehand. And so many of you as business people and as entrepreneurs are in that same boat. You've tried a bunch of things, you were hoping that this one thing was going to like change your business, that it was going to move you forward in life, and you scooped. And you didn't realize that if you would have just stuck it out just a little bit longer, that top card would have been there and you could have turned everything around. So that's an extra bonus one. Don't scoop, right? Don't scoop early. Play the game all the way through. So long as you have life, so long as you have your faculties, your wits about you, there's always an opportunity for you to change things and for you to win. Anyway, I'm gonna get off my uh, soapbox here. I hope this information helped you guys out. Please leave your comments in the comment section below if you did enjoy this content. And most of all, beyond everything else, please subscribe to this channel. I do Money Monday videos every Monday. And we're talking about business, we're talking about uh, motivation, we're talking about selling, negotiating, everything that I think that would be helpful for you guys to just be better entrepreneurs and to win in this new year. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I'll see you in the next one.